coffee break with me. Woo! Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are brand new. My name is Danny, and today I'm here with a review on the Urban Decay palette, uh, the Gwen Stefani. What is the name of this palette anyway? Is it called Urban Decay X Gwen Stefani? The Gwen Stefani palette? Yeah, it's called the Gwen Stefani eyeshadow palette. That's awesome. I mean, when you get to that point, you would be a fool not to put your name on everything. I would have like the Coffee Break with Danny hot dogs, cheeseburgers. Why does it always have to be about food with me? So this video is really exciting for me because um, I don't think Urban Decay has ever collaborated with anyone before. This is one of this is their first collaboration with anyone, and to pick one of all people, I'm like, yeah. Sorry, I'm not home right now. I'm walking in the spider webs. If you're a 90s kid, you know what I'm talking about. I was all about the tragic kingdom life. You know what I'm saying? And being a California kid, you knew about, no doubt, you knew about Gwen Stefani, you knew about that whole thing. Anyway, so this is the very first collaboration that Urban Decay does with anyone, and they decided to collaborate with Gwen because I believe Wendy from <laughs> the Queen of Urban Decay is friends with her, and I couldn't have thought of a better collaboration ever. Um, so basically, it is a 15 pan eyeshadow. It retails for $58, and this is one of those collaborations where Gwen had say and participation and decision and she, she basically was involved in the entire process which is fantastic. There are so many celebrities nowadays that just um, do product placement or stamp their name on something but they have nothing to do with the development or the creation of whatever they're trying to sell and Gwen had something to do with everything, every aspect of this palette. I mean from the packaging, I mean the packaging inside is pink because she is a hardcore pink fan. Like one of her favorite colors is pink. She loves she loves this sort of like artistic art linear type stuff. I don't even know what it's called, but I mean, look at the palette. Isn't that beautiful? So this is a 15 pan um, eyeshadow palette. She has a little inscription here on the mirror that says magic's in the makeup. It's a $58 palette, but it does have 0.6 ounce of product, just like a naked palette. A naked palette has 0.6 ounces of product as well. This has 15 colors. A naked palette has 12 colors. So you have more colors here, but they are going to be in smaller amounts because you have 15 um, pans as opposed to 12. Of the eyeshadows in this palette, three of them are permanent to Urban Decay. And when I get into the shadows individually with swatches, I'll tell you which ones they are. But there are three in here that are permanent to the Urban Decay line because they were Gwen's favorite. All of the eyeshadows as well are named after people, places, or things, or important stuff in Gwen's life. I love how I say Gwen like she's my G, you know, like she's my homie. You know, just Gwen. We went to the mall and, you know, had a Cinnabon together, whatever. In this eyeshadow palette, you're going to have three iridescent shadows. You're going to have two pearl, one satin, four metallic, and five matte shadows. When I first got this palette, I was like, wow, there's so many matte shadows in here. But when you really pay attention, there's actually only five, and they are the ideal shades to be matte. You have um, Anaheim, which is the perfect transition shade. It reminds me so much of Max Kid. You have the shade um, Stark, which is like a nudie pink. You have the shade Zone. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you some up-close swatches and describe the colors to you, and I'll be right back to share with you my final thoughts, where you can buy it, and all that good stuff. So the very first row, starting with Blonde. Blonde is a unique color to this palette, and it is a pale beige with pink iridescent shift. This next one is called Bath Water, and this is a pale beige with gold pearl, which is very obvious when you apply it. You can see the gold pearl in there. This next one is a permanent to the Urban Decay line, and this is a pale nude satin. And even though it is a satin, it appears on the lid more like a matte shade. This one is one of my favorites by far. This is Steady. It's a medium rose with metallic gold shift. 
And the last one in the first row is Punk. This is a reddish brown matte. Now moving on to the second row, the first color is called Baby. And Baby is a cool metallic rose, such a pretty shade. It definitely looks like a color out of the Naked 3 palette. Um, the following color is a must, must, super must have. This looks almost identical to Max Kid, which if you guys have been following me for a while, you know it's my favorite eyeshadow of ever. Um, and this is Anaheim. And Anaheim is a light taupe brown matte. It is creamy, it's buttery, it's amazing. It's just such a beautiful color. It's the perfect transition shade. The third color in the second row is called Stark. And Stark is a, another permanent shade to the Urban Decay line. And Stark is a nude pink matte. Really pretty color. Then we're gonna follow up with the shade Zone. And Zone is a medium brown matte. When I initially saw this palette, I was like, damn, that's a lot of mattes. But really, there aren't that many. I think there are five out of 15. And then the last shade in the second row is the color Sirius. And Sirius is a smoky gray with iridescent floating pearl. And the third and final row in this palette, I like to call it like the fun row because this is one where you really get your metallics going or your colors that are really gonna make an impact or create a statement or bold look. The very first color in this row is called Pop. And Pop is a pale coral with iridescent sparkle. I don't know about too much about iridescence. I would just say it's a glitter sham, like a champagne glitter. That's exactly what it looks like. But this is a really, really messy shadow. This is definitely a, if I were to say the most disappointing one in this palette, it would be definitely pop because this is one of those grainy and sandy textured shadows um, reminiscent of the Naked 3 palette. That was one of the biggest reasons why a lot of the shadows in the Naked 3 were a miss for me because they were kind of sandy and grainy. The following color is a beautiful pink shade. This is called Harajuku, and this is a metallic blue pink with iridescent micro shimmer. You can see it just looks like a really fine metallic shade. It's not chunky, it's not glittery, it's not grainy. It's just a smooth shimmery pink. And then a beautiful navy. This is the shade Danger, and Danger is a deep metallic royal blue with micro sparkle. This is again like the color Sirius where it it has tiny itty bitty bits, tiny little sparkles in there just floating around, but you really can't see them that much unless the light hits it a certain way. Then this beautiful cool uh, gold, this is 1987 and it's a, it's described as a bright metallic yellow gold. It's definitely a yellow gold. I even, I would even go as far as saying it has a little bit of greenish gray to it. And then another shade that is permanent to the current Urban Decay line, this is the shade Blackout, and it's just a black, black, matte black. This is said to be Gwen's favorite black eyeshadow of ever. I've seen better black eyeshadows, but I've definitely seen a lot worse. So it is a good black to have in this palette. And it's said that you should have black in every palette that you own, so that might be a really good addition to have in your collection. Now let's talk about the real deal. It is a $58 palette. It's along the same price range as like a naked palette. And I've seen so much commentary around this palette saying, I'm not impressed. It doesn't move me. It, um, you know, I'm not excited about it. And you know, when I initially saw it, I died. You know, I died. I needed to be resuscitated. Um, because the whole idea of the collaboration. I'm a huge fan of No Doubt. You know, I love No Doubt as growing up. Um, I like Gwen now. I think she's a really classy lady. She's just one of those almost iconic style women um, in the industry that's just super motivating and inspiring. So I, I basically fainted and died and lost my panties. But the more I started to see the palette, the more, not disillusioned, but like unimpressed that I felt. I was like, oh God, this is like what everyone already, I have all this in the collection already. What am I gonna do with this? I mean, all of the shadows are like very similar in, you know, color range. There's not a big distinction between colors. It was almost like I was having like a pity party over this palette. And I make the mistake very often about making up my mind before I actually try a product. So I was like, you know what? 
dip your damn brush into that palette and play with it. And I just ate every single one of my words. This is obviously one of those palettes that's going to have colors that you already have in your collection. But let's be honest, we're on YouTube for a reason because we're makeup lovers. And when it comes to badass collaborations like with Gwen Stefani, you'd be a fool not to add it to your collection if you're a fan of her. So if you're a fan of Gwen's, it's a must have. If you're a fan of neutrals, it's a must have. If you're a fan of Urban Decay, it's a must have. If you're someone that's looking to invest in a trendy, new, pop of color, fun palette, this is probably not for you because you're gonna have these eyeshadows in your collection already. Um, but if you're looking for a gift for someone that wants a neutral palette, it's perfect. If you're looking for someone, you know, if you're looking for a palette that is going to give you a lot of neutral looks, like you can create a lot of very neutral wearable looks, but you also have very classy, classic pops of color, like this beautiful royal blue or this um, really pretty, almost like bluish pink, then it has it in here. It has a classic matte black, which, I mean, if you do a black base and then put color on top, you can create a lot of other different looks. So it's definitely a palette for the makeup junkie. It's definitely a palette for a neutral lover. And it's definitely a palette that's going to give you a variety of options. So a lot of people were like, oh, you know, I expected more from Gwen. But the way I see it is, if you Google Gwen Stefani makeup, all you're going to see is like a cross between a classic pinup look and like a classic Hollywood glam. Gwen always has really neutral eyes, super neutral eyes, wing liner, beautiful lashes to just emphasize her giant doe eyes, and then that classic pop of color lip either matte red, a hot pink lip, a really happy coral, or that really glossy nude lip. She always has a really classic Hollywood iconic or um, subtle pinup eye look. So Gwen wasn't about to do like a glittery palette with like purple. You see my baby's bottle, don't you? Like, <laughs> mommy thug life, what can I say? Um, she wasn't going to create a palette, you know, with really funky, crazy ass colors because that's not her style. This was a palette for her that she made that was all about Gwen. And I think she did a fabulous job creating that and putting it into this little palette that, if I do have to say, is pretty, isn't that sexy? I've never seen a palette like this before, ever. Out of a palette with 15 shades, I think only one of them was kind of, uh, I didn't like it at all. And it was one of the ones that I thought was gonna be my favorite and that's the shade Pop. Pop is supposed to be like a glittery champagne, coral champagne shade, but it is just a textury, grainy mess. I mean, even when I was trying to clean off the palette, like that, the little glittery specks would just cling onto it and it's just, it's not glittery where it sticks, it's glittery where it just makes a mess. And I didn't like that, but you know what? I can live without one shadow in a 15 pan palette. So if you are a fan of Gwen Stefani and you're a fan of Urban Decay, it does have 12 new shadows that have never before be been seen in the Urban Decay line. Three of them are repeats. Um, the eyeshadow palette is $58. It is I just hate that, but it doesn't make sense to make a collaboration permanent. You know what I mean? Collaborations are meant to be limited edition so that it's like an exciting project. Um, so it is limited edition. You are going to be able to find it at Ulta, Sephora. Urban Decay's website has first dibs, I believe, so you'll be able to find it there first and then Subsequently, you'll be able to find it at Ulta, Sephora, even Macy's, I believe. Certain Macy's will have it uh, for sale. So those are my thoughts on this palette. If you guys want to see a tutorial using the palette, I will have that um, tomorrow or I will have it linked in the description box below so that you guys can check it out. I tried to do something um, that I think Gwen would use, so something like this. Anyway, so that is it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Like always, all of the product details will be listed and linked in the description box below, along with a tutorial on the look that I'm wearing, the lip color that I'm wearing, my shirt, my earrings, all of that stuff will be listed in the description box below. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And as always, if you found this video useful, entertaining, or learned something, please give